Today's pep talk is about the topic of the implication of 110%. So let's talk about this, right? Many times coaches say, you got to go out there, try your best, give 110%, right? I'm looking at this word very specifically, so it is what it is, right? But I listen to that and I say 110%. If I only have 100% available, where is this extra 10% coming from, right? If I'm giving my best, if I'm giving my all, all of what I have to offer is 100% of what I have. So the implication that there's an extra 10% somewhere, then it also implies that I have an extra storage, which means that I wasn't really genuinely giving 100%. I was giving, theoretically, 90% if I have a reserve of 10%. So my question is, well, where is this extra 10% coming from, right? Is it just extra energy that I have? Is it, like, really, what, where is it at? So when I think about, like, an analogy, right? I think of if I have $10 and someone asks me, you know, they put me, put my hands up, you know, they have a gun in front of me, put your hands up, give me all your money. And I give them 100% of the money that I have. And that's that $10 bill. Are they going to say, and give me 10% more? You don't have anything else. That's, that's basically it. Right. Or. If that doesn't land correctly, then think about like, you know, if your rent or bills come up to X amount of dollars and that's the exact amount that you have. Right. And all of a sudden there's another bill that needs to be paid. Well, sometimes people use credit cards to pay the other bills that they physically don't have the money for. Right. Credit is basically a promissory note to pay. So it means you don't have it, but you're going to borrow money from somewhere else. So now let's put that borrowing aspect into the sports that we play. Now, if I'm giving 100%, I can't just borrow energy from someone. I can't just borrow an extra block start to get my reps done for today, right? So I just don't really understand the implication of of that. I don't have 110%. I have 100% of what I can give to you. I can give you my all right so now when it comes into understanding effort it's like this let's say today i had a great um day i i slept well last night i show up to practice and coach asked for me to give them a hundred percent and i say you got it and i give coach a hundred percent i'm busting my butt i'm diving for loose balls i'm catching everything i'm sprinting hard i'm coming in first place in all my reps I'm doing a great job. That's 100% of my effort. Well, what if tomorrow my body's really sore and I'm, I'm just tired? Like, I didn't sleep well. I stayed up last night for, you know, for these tests that I have coming up, these midterms. And I, like, I'm not feeling good. I'm feeling sick. Well, theoretically, if I go to practice, I can still give 100%. However, the 100% is of what's left. So if I roll my ankle and I can only give 50% in my sport, I can still give 100% of that 50% available, if that makes sense, right? I'm not going to go out and try to match what 100% was performance-wise. So let's say track and field, if I'm 100% healthy and I'm peaked and I'm ready to go and I can run a 10-5 in the 100-meter dash, if I roll my ankle the day before, I can't run a 10-5 because my body is not at 100%. Now, I can still give the effort of 100%, period, regardless of my health status, right? If I'm mentally 100% there, I can give 100% effort. But physically, my body's only able to give 50%. So if I end up running a 15-second 100-meter dash, but that's 100% effort, my body still has given the 100% that's needed. So whenever I talk to my athletes, it's very simple. 
Give 100% at all times because your body's going to adapt to that, right? So if you're tired, even if you're in a workout where the first run you give 100%, the next run you are not at 100%, you're still recovering, you're lightheaded, all that stuff, that's fine. Then finish your rep at the 100% effort. If you're literally crawling on hands and knees to finish your next 400 meter rep, that's fine. It's still a 100% effort. Get that, right? So when you put 100% into everything, it goes into everything that you do on and off the track. So if I am recovering and a coach says today is an active recovery day, well, active recovery is actively recovering. Sitting down and watching Netflix or sitting down for most of you guys playing Fortnite or any type of video game isn't an active rest because your brain is mentally stimulated and it's starting to stress. If you go from a stress on the track physically, then you go home and you rest your body physically, but you're mentally still stressed, it's not really helping, right? An active rest is sitting down and not doing anything, or it's sitting down and stretching, it's icing. It's trying to figure out how can I actively progress my body to resting better, right? Maybe it's getting up and going to a masseuse, getting a massage. Maybe it's cryotherapy. Whatever it may be, it's something that's active that allows you to get work done, right? Um, And then while you're doing it, you're, you're taking away the stress within the workout. So you could technically hop on a bike and ride a bike for half an hour, but don't set a destination of how far you're gonna run or how far you're gonna ride. Just simply keep it simple. Just hop on the bike, listen to music, let the body go through the motions. That's a recovery piece, right? Your body and your mind need a active or a, a reset. If your computer is on all the time, sometimes it just needs to be turned off and turned back on. It needs to be reset, right? Even if you download a new app on your computer or your phone, Sometimes when you download it, it's not working correctly. You have to simply just turn it off, turn it on, so it kind of can reset and reboot with the program. Your brain is the exact same type of process. It needs to reset, which is why we go to sleep. Turn off the program, wake up, start a new day, right? So when you guys are doing everything, understand there's a, I think, my my um, perspective is you cannot give 110%. You can give 100%. And when you do give 100%, Give 100% in everything that you do at all times, so then that becomes your normal. All right? Till next time.